300 highest poverty cities in America, 77 of them in California. We're talking about a crisis of enormous proportions. This is about California's economic future, what it means to the people who are here, and what it means to those who come here to live out their dreams. You know, my grandpa came here from Mexico 100 years ago. He came from a country of rich and poor. I live in a country that's increasingly becoming a country of rich and poor. By the year 2032, the majority of the workforce will be people of color nationwide. And what's driving that is no longer immigration. There's more Mexicans returning to Mexico than coming to the United States, which means that if we build a wall, we're just pinning Mexicans in. So, <laughs> California demographically is America fast forward. We've also been America fast forward in terms of inequality. It certainly had a racial dimension. The inequality by race has also been getting worse. There is a growing school of thought that an inequitable economy uh, is not uh, a strong economy, is not likely to be a growing sustainable economy. As the community told the Asset of Health Foundation, we want to save our kids. School to prison pipeline is real. You go to Eastern Coachella Valley, the kids in middle school and high school will tell you they're building a prison over there for me. This issue of education is a civil rights issue of our time because disproportionately it's kids of color that aren't making it. If you have an economy that prides itself on innovation and you can't raise the minimum wage, you're not innovative. And when we think about entrepreneurs, we often think of the Silicon Valley types that are starting big companies. And I think about a lot of the undocumented immigrants that have been here for 10 years that are super resilient. We have more power than we allow ourselves to realize, to have the audacity to demand uh, to make uh, above poverty level wages. The key here is that California is growing jobs and the new gateway to access a lot of these jobs is actually a post-secondary production. Imagine the kind of jobs we would create and the kind of career pathways we could develop with community colleges by getting people prepared from high school to community college to work in a way that transforms their lives, transforms their communities, and also creates very strong civic agents for change. We as a state are at a tipping point. We can be innovative again in turning our attention to inclusion. Thank you very much for being here tonight.